Hey, welcome back. It's been a while. Carm 3D on the tube. Well, I've been busy, but uh, I'm in the middle of a very long rendering session. You can see my ScreamerNet panel is open there and it's rendering away. So I've got some time and I figured I might as well share with you how to set up ScreamerNet on your computer. Uh, actually, uh, for multiple computers. If you have multiple computers, you can get many benefits from ScreamerNet. Even if you only have one computer, you can still have some benefits from ScreamerNet. Mainly, you can uh, set up more than one scene file, get them ready to render, and then when you go to bed, you just tell it to render one f scene after another on your one computer. Uh, but there are even other s more subtle benefits to doing this if you only have one computer, but let's get on with that. Let's get on with the process of setting this up, and then you can decide if you want to go through all the hassle of getting ScreamerNet set up, even if you only have one computer. Okay, so let me first say that I am definitely not a networking expert. I have, however, set up ScreamerNet in more than a few computers, more than a few networks, so I think I'm qualified enough to instruct you guys how to do this. So, let us first go into my computer. Now, I'm still using Windows XP on my main computer, so it's going to have this old-fashioned look, so bear with me on that. The first thing you need to do is set up your shared folders. Let me first go to a drive that... See, I have this all set up already, so I'm not going to go to the ones that are already shared. I'm going to go to a fresh drawer that's not being shared. Let's say my audio drive. Right-click and uh, I'm going to, going to go to sharing and security. If you're using Windows Vista, Windows 7, it might look a little different, but uh, the basic operations are still there. You just have to find them. Right-click, sharing and security. Click. That brings up this panel here. And this area is where we're going to look at. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click on this share this folder on the network. Okay, you do need to give it a name. It defaults to the name of the directory. Uh, that's fine, we'll leave it there. And this is also important, you need to turn this on. Allow network users to change my files. So click on that. And then... Stop. Go away. And then uh, you click on OK. Now. When you click on OK, it's going to do a bunch of processing. It's going to look like it's copying files around and stuff like that. But I'm not going to click on OK because I don't need to do this. OK, here we are looking at a directory that is shared. You can see the icon of the folder is just a little bit different. It's got like a little hand holding the folder. OK, now let's go over which folders you do want to share. Obviously, the directory that Lightwave is in is going to be one that you want to be shared. Uh, another one, and uh, this is optional, but this is the way I do it, and I think you'll agree that there are benefits to doing this. Uh, to make a separate directory for your third-party plugins, and then share that. In your program files, or wherever you have Lightwave set up, create a new directory. Call it Lightwave underscore third-party plugins, and then take all your third-party plugins and put them in here. You can see it's got a whole bunch of stuff in here. The reason why I do this is because from version after version after version of Lightwave, as they get updated, uh, I found myself having to keep moving my third-party plugins from one directory of Lightwave to another, to another. And uh, if you put them in a shared directory in your network, then you can simply tell Lightwave to look in this network drive for its third-party plugins and then you know you don't have to move it over and over again uh, you still inside of Lightwave you still have the plugins directory I never touch this this is just all your your stock plugins but um, all your custom stuff all your stuff you download from flay.com or uh, other places on the internet or the ones you purchase put those all in your third-party plugins directory. 
and then you are ready to go with that. Okay, the next directory you want to share is back out of here, your projects directory. Uh, this is where inside here you will have a folder for every one of your projects. Let me uh, quickly go into a project directory. You can see inside here I got dynamics, extra. These are all the basic setups you would use when you create a project. Actually, when you go in Lightwave and, did it, and you hit uh, over options and you go to uh, set up your command directory, uh, I can't look at this right now because I'm rendering. I, I think it's the, your project directory, something like that. There is a button there for make directories, and we'll go and make images and objects, motions render, stuff like that. Uh, I made a couple of extra directories, extra stuff, images, source. It varies with every project. Alright, the next thing you need to do is find out what your IP address is. By the way, to do this you also need to have an active internet connection. I don't know why this is the case, but it's something to do with you need to have an internet connection active to uh, have the computer generate an IP address, I think. I'm not the expert on this networking stuff, but uh, to the best of my knowledge, internet is one ingredient you need. You go to start, and you go to run. That will bring up this little prompt that says what you want to run. You just type in CMD. Click OK. And that will bring up this. And you type IP config, one word. And when you type this, it will tell you what your IP address is. In my case, it's 10.0.0.4. So you go to My Computer, again, right here, Tools, Map Network Drive. Now for Vista, I think it, it shows up along the t t bar here somewhere, but XP, it's right here, Map Network Drive. And you pick any drive letter you want. Uh, in my case, I went with X, Y, and W, and uh, and you would type in slash slash, and uh, notice they are backslashes. When you're doing internet stuff, it's this way. When you're doing network stuff, it's this way. And uh, 10.0.0.4 is my IP address backslash projects. Now, why why projects? Well when I go to sharing and security right there that's where it's using this name right here the share name that you typed in there so you got the, the two backslashes your IP address another backslash and then whatever you gave this folder this share name okay and when you do that and if it's successful which it should be it will pop up a new window showing you the contents of your shared directory except this time it will look like another drive is added to your my computer list and when you pull it up it will look like this we we used to see this inside another location but if you look now it says it's in the w drive so once that's successful you are getting pretty close uh, Next step, we need to go into Lightwave and set up some other stuff. Uh, this is a new directory I made here, and so is this. These are two new directories you can make inside your Lightwave directory. Technically, it can be anywhere, uh, specifically inside any network drive, but uh, in my case, I made them inside the, the Lightwave directory just to keep everything together. 